and the other one's amino acids. So they're not going nowhere. Um, you know, with this, like I said, it's a really good way for somebody to have a daily dose of NAD too, because if you get NAD by itself, which is phenomenal, you get it. And, you know, most of the time it's not reconstituted. You have to reconstitute. That means it's freeze dried powder and you have to actually put, you know, bacteriostatic water in there and then you swirl it around and now it's ready to go. And with that, you know, people, they can take it from there, but, you know, some people don't know what a daily dose should be for them. So this is just laid out for you. It makes it real simple, real easy. And then you get the benefits of B12 and touring along with it. So, you know, you have some complimentary things that are going to help you get a better result in what you're trying to do there. What do you get out of touring? What do you, what do you like about touring? All I know is Red Bull. Red Bull is touring. touring. So touring. The reason they put it in Red Bull is, Red Bull is for brain function. So there's two main things that I would say that touring is really, really good for. It just, that just pops off my mind. One, uh, brain function, right? And then two would be cramping. Usually touring is good for if, if you're in like anti-cramping type deal. Wow. So that, that's the two things that I would, I would take away from touring right off the bat. But I mean, you know, the first one would be brain function. We want you to think better with this. Like, you know, it's that ultra mix. It's supposed, you're supposed to make you ultra uh focus so at that point like that's what it does am i incorrect to understand that a lot of taurine is also in uh sleep aid yeah it is in sleep aids too it's in sleep aids it's in energy drinks it, it like i said it has a lot of different function but you know i think the reason they put it in sleep aids is the reason because they want people to wake up refreshed and more concentrated in the morning right i mean they don't want people to go to sleep using their product and waking up groggy the next day that's that's the they're like oh man this didn't do anything for me this sucks I got to sleep but I still feel I'm I'm so tired like what, what's going on here I can't think so right. you know that's that's the main drive for it real quick just uh, for everybody at home the merch Mona is wearing the Titan tank top Ooh, love it <laughs> love it <laughs> Gianni's got on some merch as well oh yeah that uh, oh, obviously. Johnny's got me dressing smooth. That's right. Looking good, man. Sophisticated. I like it. Elegant. It's really nice to have a little collection and kind of have an option to choose what you're going to wear. Absolutely. So, yeah, Absolutely. And feel good doing it too, right? Feel good wearing it. That's that's the best thing. Well, I started putting this on. I go, there's no way this is fitting because this is, this is a brand new one. And yeah. I, then, I, then I get it on. I go, oh, it's the waistline. Yes. Yeah, it's a nice right. taper to the waistline. Yeah, that's, that's what I love about those shirts. Yeah, it, they, it's not boxy, so it fits us right up top, like it's showing the shoulders and arms, and then it, it, it cuts in. So it's like, all right, cool. It's not making us look like we got a huge waist because that's one thing right. I hate about some shirts. It's and like, I don't care, I wear big, usually haircut. bigger shirts. Yeah, it's, it's tapered all the way down. Yes, love it. I love it. Just any any option for me to pose the arms. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I got to uh, I got to start this new program, and it started yesterday. Um, I, I cheated a little bit. I started it last week just to kind of get my feet wet. Yeah. And these numbers were absolutely kicking my ass. And and I and I I know you all understand this. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, it's yeah. fun for me to have a new program that is kicking my ass, and I'm like. Ooh, hey, hello, hello. <laughs> you know, and uh, but the instant feel to the body, everything starts to feel good. Um, and I and I am staying. I I, I back down the Hercules potion to mm -hmm. once a day, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I bumped it back up now since mm -hmm. yesterday. Hercules mm -hmm. potion. I want to take us into that discussion um, because I started again two shots a day because I'm doing two a days. Mm -hmm. Now, are you okay with that? Because we oh, did. Of course. Blood you can take as much as you want of that. Okay. Tell them a little bit about Hercules Potion because I know that's something, What's again, no matter what, you can get sure. this, and this is not going away. Sure. Yeah. So this is a combination. Hercules Potion is a signature amino acid blend from Type Medical Center and only from Type Medical Center. You'll never find it anywhere else. And it's a, a crazy combination of nine different components. They're going to give you a pump. Like the best pump you probably already already had or haven't had, uh, it's going to keep that pump for a long lasting time. It's going to help with recovery. It's going to help with liver functions. It's going to help with collagen repair and production of collagen. It's going to help with 
muscle building. It's going to help with anti-fatiguing. So being able to do more strenuous activity. So there's a lot of different things it's going to have. Now, what does it have in it that does these things? So we talk about glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, L-citrulline, proline, taurine, NAC, and L-carnitine. So these are great things. And a lot of people that, well, I could take these all oral. And I'm like, it's a way different effect. The transportation rate one, getting into the body the way that it does, is the fastest that you're going to get. The absorbency is the highest you're going to get. So it's not going to be broken down the gastro tract or anything like that. The beautiful thing about this is, let's say you want to inject it in your shoulder, you're going to have results all over. If you want more instant gratification and want to pick up maybe lagging body parts per se, then you can spot inject into those muscles and work them out those that day. And I'm telling you, like if you follow like a program, like I call it my 3D program. And basically at that point, like if you do, let's say Monday, and this is my routine, chest and back. If you inject in your chest and you do chest and back, you're going to look 3D. If you do it on your biceps and triceps and do it in that day, your arms are going to look the biggest they, they ever have. And the beautiful thing is, is it lasts for a long time. So it's not something where, you go into the gym, you get the pump. Now you left the gym 15 minutes later, you deflated down. You're like, man, what the hell happened? I was so pumped. It looked so good. It was all vascular. And that's just an effect that happens, right? With some of these different things you take orally. With this, it's going to last. So if you have a photo shoot, if you're going out to the pool or the beach and you want to pump those muscles up, you can go down, pop out 50 push-ups, and you're ready to go. Photo shoots, competitions. I mean, even if you just want to go out and look at, I mean, I know girls that inject in their cast because when they wear heels and, and they're wearing that dress, they want to have nice calves. So they, they pump them up like that. I know guys that do it too, because they want to, they want to build up their calves even bigger because that's their lagging body part. I know people that have had injuries before where let's say they broke their, fe their femur. So they broke their femur at, and when that happens, they, they've had this cast and, and, and leg that's been atrophied. And at that point, they have to work it back. And this yeah. will actually help them work it back faster. So just some, some great things. Hercules and potions, injectable. You do with a little insulin needle. It's water-based. There's no hormones, no stimulants. Nothing in there that's going to affect you negatively. It's all positive effects. Just uh, um, we have somebody here that uh, did it and recommended for me to try to do it in the body parts as well. Uh, Jeff over here. And he noticed a better connection. Can you explain why there would be a better? So he had, uh, I, if I remember correctly, one chest, uh, one chest, a little less than the other. And you shot yeah, it. Just, it just... Uh, from not being able to use it for so long. Why don't you pull yourself in yeah. on this uh, here so we can just see you here. Yeah. About America. Yo. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, just after. Nice hat. Uh, thank you. Uh, I love it. Shout out. 47. Um, <laughs> That's right. After a little bit of an impingement, came back. Feels great. Nothing. It's actually better than it was before. But awesome. the effect of not being able to use it for so long was a little bit of an imbalance. So after yeah. your recommendation, from one of the lives that you guys did, I tried it out. I put the Ricky yep. there, right in my chest. Yep. And I'm telling you, I have never felt a pump like that in my life. And not yeah. only that. I've never felt a contraction from the mind muscle like that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do I didn't do cable crossovers to get this. I didn't I didn't do yeah. a ton of flies. I just went under the barbell, put two plates on, and that thing was so juice. So on an exercise that you normally wouldn't feel that kind of pump. Right. Yeah. yeah you yeah. did it's feel it and a better connection. Crazy. Crazy stupid. And it lasted. It didn't, it didn't go away at the end of the workout, like you were saying. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So I like to hear, man, for sure. Yeah, and, then, and that's the best thing. The mind and muscle connection is everything. Yeah. And if you guys out there have not experienced mind and muscle connection, you're missing out. You're missing the boat. You're not getting the best gains or best results you possibly can if you're not experiencing this. And it's okay if you haven't, but you need to realize this and need to get with it so you can. Hercules Potion does this by increasing blood flow into the area. So when you do pump the muscle, you're pumping all that blood in there and it's at maximum full pace, dude. Right. So at that point, and then it keeps it there and traps it in there. So at that point, you know, you can start feeling the muscle when you're working out. It's the first thing I told Peter, when he started working out, I'm like, listen, you need to feel the muscle that you're working out and really concentrate on connecting with that muscle and feeling it go in and out. 
So, you know, it's, it's just something that, like I said, once people experience it, they, then they understand. They know where the mild muscle connection is. They know exactly what to look for, how it feels, and then they can really progress where they need to. So, like I said, if you're not feeling that, if you've had problems, if you have atrophy in different areas because of injuries, motorcycle accidents, I don't know how many people I've helped with motorcycle accidents. That shoulders, that they haven't been able to move, arms, I mean, every everything. So, at that point, even if you have like a, like a bicep tear, like Drew had a bicep tear. So at that point, like he was off a little symmetrically from one arm to the next. And we really started hitting one area in his bicep and we brought it back up. So it's just been, it's been crazy, you know, and like I said, it's all natural. So, you know, there's, there's nothing that's going to hurt you and it's all going to be benefiting you. Um, We're still talking about the Hercules potion. Hercules potion. Just, uh, yeah, you got to be sorry. Yeah, no, 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 I agree with you. I did notice one thing though. I did notice, and I, I think Jeff can kind of clarify this because he was filming. Uh, we did a triceps the other day, and I was <laughs> I was attempting to do the workout, and the pump was getting in the way. Wow. So, again, uh, I am a nervous system. I, I train to to more than anything else, especially at this stage of the game. I mm -hmm. I train to stimulate the nervous system more than anything else. Right now, this new plan has me stimulating the muscle as well, more than normal with mm -hmm. the higher reps. Mm -hmm. And I was finding that, you know, three, four sets in the reps were doing its thing. The Hercules potion was doing its thing. And I'm sitting there going, I, I, I can't lift. I can't do another set. I need another minute, another two minutes because they were just so pumped. I couldn't do anything. It was like ridiculous. It's just like you're standing there. So. Yes. I felt like Drew. And I forgot to say, <laughs> yeah. I was doing triples on incline when I yeah. felt that. You felt that pump? Triples. Yeah. Oh, no, that's three reps. And yeah, it's not like you're doing 20, 20 30, 15 or, reps, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, literally, like the anti fatiguing, the ornithine in it is anti fatiguing amino acid where it should help you do more reps. So you can be able to do a little bit more. And what I tell people what that should be if you're doing a little bit more than you normally would, you're probably going to get a better result. Right, because you're putting in more work. So that that's just one thing I tell people. I mean, you know, everybody asks me, like, you know, where does the pump come from? Like L citrulline, right? And arginine. And those are both precursor nitric oxide, blood flow. They're gonna increase the blood flow throughout the body. And the best thing I didn't even mention on here is is that the great side effect you'll get is if you have a partner at home, if you're a male, it's gonna increase blood flow everywhere, even downstairs. So erection should be better too, as well. And I I want anybody out there to test me. Now, on my my chat, I've got David Hensley, who's been a patient of Type Medical Center for I don't know how long. And he's took Hercules Potion. He takes Hercules Potion in his chest before he has sexual activity just because when the girls go up, they feel like, oh, my God, it's so rock hard. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Like, TMI, but that is hilarious. So I had to, I had to bring it out because he was on here. It was hilarious. I know that people talk about uh, before going to do a workout or just for health reasons. Some people do to telephil. A proper sp a pronunciation is Tadalafil. Tadalafil. Yeah. yeah. They are taking a pill or a portion of that uh, on a yeah. daily base, which yeah. also, again, blood flow. Right. Now, that's something that is also at Titan Medical. And Absolutely. I know that, but Absolutely. Or more of a pump as well. For sure. I mean, you can get that in sexual function. I mean, yeah, absolutely. So you can combine the two if you really want. I mean, the most extreme pump I guess you've ever had. I mean, to really get working, but I don't I mean, you take one or two shots of Hercules potion, you're gonna be you're gonna be moving. If you take about to I mean you're gonna be maximum blood flow. So I mean it's not a bad idea. I mean, we even make uh we even make another libido enhancer that has sildenafil, which is Viagra's active ingredient, with arginine. So that right there is another big blood flow. Like that one we made to increase blood flow with the vasodilator in the sildenafil. So that one's like, that's what we call it Iron Man. You should be like iron at that point. So, um, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of different combinations that we can do for patients that, you know, some people like Tadalafil better than sildenafil. Hey, then we can utilize that. They don't like those drugs. They can use Hercules Potion by itself. They want to use both of them. That's the best thing. 
it's totally up to the patient at that point for a personalized regimen and what makes them feel the best, what we know is going to be safe for them and you're going to be healthy for them too as well. So, I mean, that, that's, that's the biggest thing. So, I mean, utilizing those drugs, I, I think are, are game changers too, if you really want to. What are your thoughts on ginseng? Cause there's all those over the counter ginseng powders that you can get. <sighs> You know, I, I'd love to, to to believe in the Chinese herbs and everything, but, you know, I took ginseng when I was younger, I, you know, because that was a big thing, right? Ginseng shots when they came out from GNC. Uh -huh. Me, myself, personally, I didn't get any benefits from ginseng that I could say, oh, man, this did something better for me, like erection-wise or libido-wise or, you know, maybe more energy, whatever it is. And I never got any effect from that. Now, I, I haven't looked for any studies on ginseng. I will look it up for you just to see, hey, listen – has there been any studies on ginseng improving libido and has it been proven to some extent? I, I just don't know if it has, so I, I really can't speak on it. see this and where did you, it's, it's, yeah. one that, okay, okay. And, and I've, I've always, I've always heard, heard that. Always heard it, yeah. Are these pills that are, what do they call them, the gas station pills? Is that something that always has a little bit in it? I don't know about that. Okay, but I know they have like Yohimbi's. Yeah, yes. yeah. I've been... I've been using Yohimbi since the 80s. And what we would do, because you were talking about the Chinese medicine, what yeah, we would yeah. do is there was a, uh, in Seattle, it's got a great a Japanese and Chinatown there and stuff. And we would get ginger, the actually Yohimbi bark. Yeah. And we dip it oh, as good. we are training. Oh. The actual, the, yeah, the root and stuff. And oh, uh, man. Uh, man, you talk about, first of all, I was blessed to have the probably the best powerlifting yeah. gym in the world. And yeah. then we're dipping this Yohimbi and we're yelling and smacking each other in the heads and lifting. So, yeah. That's great. I can't say if it did much for my my junk because um, yeah. <laughs> I was 18, 19 years old. It yeah. was working fine. So. Yeah. I was going to say at that point, I think you left. You know, Probably should have is. backed down a little bit. Might have saved me some uh, weekends. We do, we do have Yohim Bean in two different products. So our ECA Stack Plus, so we have a low and a high dose, right? So we have the pink ones and a blue and white one, which is the high dose. Now we have an tight, we have an ultra dose. And we don't advertise it out there because we don't want patients going to the, the most highest dose if they don't need it. Because some people have a very low tolerance. And they say, yeah, I can take, I can take high dose. And they take it like, oh my God, I need to go to the hospital or something, something of that extreme. So at that point, like we have it for people like, hey, listen, the blue and white one, I need something a little bit more. So at that point, it's got the ephedrine at 200 milligrams. Excuse me. It's got caffeine at 200 milligrams, ephedrine at 25 milligrams, aspirin at 30 milligrams, 1,000 micrograms of B12, 1,000 micrograms of torrent, excuse me, B12. Yeah, that's right. And then yohimbine at five milligrams. So it's really, really good. So if people don't know what yohimbine is good for, Yohim bean could be a stimulant effect, so it can help out there. Two, they say, you know, the combination with caffeine can actually help with burning fat in the body. That's another big one. And then an aphrodisiac. That's what they say for the third one. I don't really get that effect, I think, from Yohim bean, but some people do. And if you take too much Yohim bean, you'll be overstimulated, and you definitely won't be having an erection for sure. I I noticed that uh, for at least me, uh, and it might be a mental thing, but your your Himbi itself is a uh, it's a leg day or deadlift day, yeah. Because it gets me a little uh, aggressive. Yep. And yep. It, the so you know for me, I always like to train. Um, uh, I'm an emotional trainer, so I don't want to be the same guy outside the gym that I am inside. I'm a little bit more intense. Mm -hmm. You know, get nasty so that Yohimbi. So this is something for you guys to look at again for his stack with with the Yohimbi in there and and try something like that. Notice that yeah. you've got a low dose, so yeah. you start with the low dose and then go from there. Yeah. And I know that's something that you helped. It was your beautiful wife that set it up. She goes, I you you asked me, hey Mike, how's how are you feeling? I said terrible, <laughs> but, but I was dieting. I'm training. Yeah. To Day, I was trying to get ready, and anytime you get ready for a step on stage at that level, you feel yeah. bad. And then you guys sent me some, and man, that changed everything. Oh yeah, I was flying That's through the day. I'm like, wow, one tablet in the morning, We're done. Yeah, I mean, that's my that's my go-to for sure. That's what gets me going all day. I've been taking it for 
eight or nine years, I think. So, I mean, I can get off them too. So I've got off them in, in time just to see, hey, listen, now how am I going to feel, right? I've been taking these things for five, six months per se. I'm like, all right, let me get off them just to say I want to just, you know, cut off the caffeine. And I wasn't overdose, overdosing on caffeine either because you can take up to 400 milligrams per day of caffeine on a normal diet. So at that point, like for me, I'm like, all right, cool. Like I've only taken 200 milligrams per day. I am taking another stimulant. So I, let me just see how it goes. And honestly, I, I really don't feel like a, even after you take the medication, like later on in the day, you don't feel crashed. Right. Like, you know, other things that you take like that, you feel good and zing and then you crash and burn. So, you know, that's, that's the other thing that you will not get with taking the CSX plus. I, I agree with you. And then what I'll do just for you guys at home is I, I do it uh, four days a week on the lifting days. Yeah. And on the days I don't do it, I don't do it. Um, so it kind of gives me a little bump for the day. So it's great. Are you helping oh, yeah. out, Titan? Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, you see this? <laughs> you, put a, you put the headset up. <laughs> He's got the headset over here. And everything. <laughs> Titan, <laughs> AV director. Johnny, you got some uh, some extra news. I know that we're, we're trading this week. I don't know if you can talk about uh, your, your, your week coming up. Sure, sure. So... Tomorrow, uh, we're leaving for Turks and Caicos to take Sharice on her birthday trip. I usually do it every year. Me, her, and Peter are going. Um, and at that point, um, we're going to go out and head out tomorrow. We're going to fly out tomorrow. Uh, you know, just at that point, go there, relax, kind of, you know, celebrate her birthday, you know, come back and, and be refreshed and ready to go. Um, so we're only going from Wednesday to Sunday. So we're, you know, from days off of work, I guess it would be three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then back Monday. So we're ready to go for the office. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I think it's going to be good. I love Turks and Caicos. It's my favorite island to go to in the world for right now. Like I, I've been to pretty much everywhere except for like the Maldives. So, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely got a, a place in my heart for sure. I wouldn't mind retiring there, um, or even going to live there for a couple months out of the year. That's just how nice it is. Um, but yeah, so that, that's, that's it. I mean, you know, obviously, like I said, today kind of went like for a curveball for me. I'm like, oh my God, like. You know, they're going to admit my dad into the hospital now. He's going to be in there for two days and I'm not going to be here. So I'm like, man, I, you know, me and Sharice are lining up people left and right that we know that are going to go check on him, let out the dogs. Because usually he's home, you know, he's letting out the dogs. It's not a problem. Even yeah. through this chemo thing, you know, he's still getting up, getting around doing that. But if he's not there, then at that point, I need some other people. So luckily I had my mom. Sharice has her mom. And I've got some good employees and some other good people around me, like my driver and stuff like that. My limo driver, Mike. He's the best, you know, uh, so whenever I need somebody driven or anything like that, Mike is always there. So that, that's going to benefit for me. But yeah, man, that, that's it. I'm going to I'm going to capture some some ridiculous footage. While I'm out there. I always do. And, uh, you know, we're going to make some memories, man. Like I said, that's that's the biggest thing for me is like, you know, especially after seeing my dad go through what he is like. We have very limited amount of time on this earth. And at that point, like you need to take advantage of this time because you don't know when your time is up. And the, the, the clock, you know, you punch out and you don't even know you're going to be going. So, you know, for me, I want to spend more time with my family, my friends, my loved ones. Obviously, I want to work and kill it, too. I'm never going to stop that. I still want to dominate in the world and what we're doing and in other areas like we've talked about and even more areas expanding out from there. So, like, you know, I, I always want to keep a full plate, but I want to make sure that I have that time, you know, that I say, hey, listen, you know, if I have to go where I'm, I'm dying somewhere, I'm like, listen, I, I did all these good things, right? I, I know I, I, I hit these milestones. So you know, that's the biggest thing for me. And then having, you know, Peter and them set up, that's the other big thing for me. So that's all I'm working to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, from us, we watch you guys and how the family is and how you guys are running the company. And you're right. You got some great people out there. The the, the staff at Titan Medical, your, yeah. not just not just your wellness providers, but, but the... The people that are helping you go the through assistance. the process, the, yeah. Assistance, yeah. the, yeah. the medical yeah. assistance and everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody plays a vital role, man. Without the team, you ain't got no dream. So uh, it's just, it's, it's one thing that you know, I, I really appreciate. And 12 years in, you know, so it's, it's been a long time and everything like that. So yeah, I mean, pff, this last weekend, we absolutely killed it. So Tight Medical Center presented the Tampa Bay Swim Week 2024 here, uh, Friday and Saturday. And then we, I've showed you some of the videos. But like all the pictures back from the ridiculous. It was awesome amount of content. Our design straight killed it. I think, you know, I'm not going to toot my horn, but definitely the best designer there for sure. And model wise, I think too, as well. 
I mean, that's that's uh, that's big time because it's Florida, and you got beautiful people there. So yes, congratulations oh, yeah, on that. sure. Um, let's man. let's. Uh, um, yeah, we saw we saw so much, and I know my 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 guys team was really watching. <laughs> uh, for everybody out there, we will be in Vegas October. Yeah, October tenth. October, like what? Tenth through the thirteenth. Thirteenth, right? Something like that. Hold on, let me look and see what it is. So we will be at the Mr. Olympia. Uh, we will have a nice uh, 20 by 30 booth. You will be oh, yeah. able to find it easily. Uh, and we will be there for uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And then Sunday, at, we're taking you guys to uh, Bagel Mania to eat. So we can go celebrate. <laughs> yes. Most likely, because uh, we'll have our team there as well, hold on, hold on. helping out. Hold on, so, hold on, hold on, hold okay, on, yes, yes, yes. It's my turn. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll in. be at the Olympia. I'm in, really sir. excited about this year. Me too. Me too. I'm super pumped. Like I said, even just with, with I know the outfits the people are gonna already wear right now. Like I already got that design. I'm gonna have some killer outfits, some killer girls, and some killer tight medical bikinis. You know, we're going to be there. I mean, it's going to it's going to be a good one. 60th anniversary of Olympia, too. This will be something special, I think. And I think everybody yeah. will be flocking to Vegas for it. So I think we can get a lot of exposure there. I think we're going to, you know, get to meet a lot of our supporters, fans, and patients. It'd yeah. be awesome. And then we'll have this munchkin there as hey, well with us. I love it. You want to go to Vegas? Get some gambling? No, I'm going to talk for that day. You're going to talk I'm for so that day? Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's ready to go. I gotta see him ready. Peter together. That's what I want to do next time we're out there. I want Peter to teach him to throw and hit. No problem. No problem. Right? Yeah, that was that was something that yesterday, man. I got to take Peter for his baseball, his, his pitching, and his hitting. So his arms finally. He's whipping the ball, man. His arms. He's like an octopus. They're just extending. Go out. I'm like, man, it's crazy. How much? How tall is he now? He's like six three, maybe right now. I mean, I don't know. He's right, right around there. I mean, he's fifteen, so hopefully he'll get like another inch or two. He's like, man, I want more inches than that. He wants the nine inches like Dennis Rodman did when he was in college. I'm like, you're not gonna get nine inches, man. I'm like, he's like, man, you know. I'm like, you're gonna get maybe two more inches. So just be grateful if you do get those two inches, and at that point you'll be six four, six five. So. You know, it is what it is. I mean, at that that's still pretty tall, right? I mean, that's that's a good good height. Yeah. And I was like, we'll put the body on you, which he's been training hard. I've been really proud of him. He's been really working in there trying to put the body on. So you know, well, Zay, he just keeps. Zay Coach is a friend, and he's probably one of the biggest baseball players I've ever seen. Just both. Uh, I know there's taller guys, but he okay, was just he's just a thick, right, right. yeah, a big human. Yeah. Um, and he's a good six four. Yep. Um, he looks bigger because he's he's really wide and stuff like right. that. Um, but uh, with with him, with your son who's now fifteen, he was going through a process with his shoulder, correct? Yep, yep. He had a stress fracture in his shoulder in his growth plate. He had a stress fracture in his growth plate. So like people are like, oh, like what did he tear? What did he tear? He didn't tear anything. So it wasn't like he had a slap tear. He didn't have a labrum tear. It was in the growth plate. And this does happen to the kids that grow fast and they're using their arms. So, you know, for Peter, he, you know, in Florida, like for me, when I was growing up, we had seasons. So you didn't play baseball 24 seven. You played other sports in between here in Florida. And I'm sure it's out there the exact same way they can oh, play 24 yeah. seven. And these sports play 24 seven. And these coaches expect the kids play 24 seven. You know, and and I do believe, especially after this, like luckily it wasn't a tear, but I was like, you need a little bit of a break. You need a little bit of a break. I think it's it's all about the recovery process that we talk about. Like you're straining the arm, you're straining the arm, you're straining the arm. You do this for months and months on end because you're practicing, you're playing games, you're putting wear and tear on the arm. Even if you're not damaging it, it's just like a tire. Yeah, it, you, that that tread's gonna get wore down eventually. It might be happening when you're my age, like it did for me. But at this point, like you want to take care of your arm as much as possible. And if you do give your arm rest, it will, you know, it won't break down on you probably. And you're going to be able to keep it healthy all the time. So, 
you know, I tell him, I'm like, man, rest recovery. I was like, got to, you got to use the recovery. I mean, everything from stem units to ice to heat. I mean, yeah. you know, Epsom salt, like I believe in all that. I'm like, the more you do, the better you are. You know, it is what it is. I love it. Yeah. I just, as a parent, I know that, that right. it's one of the all hardest right. things is you got to stop somebody that loves it. Right. And yeah. you got to put the leash around and go, no, no, no. And try to hold them back a little bit. Right. And that's right. got to be tough, tough, tough. Yeah. Um, and so as a parent, did you, did you try to up his food at that time? Did you try to do anything besides sure. pulling him off training? Sure, sure. So, I mean, I wanted to keep his calories uh, decent because I didn't want him losing any weight from where he was at. Like, that was my biggest thing. Like, we worked so hard to, like, put on weight. And it's harder to put on good weight, like muscle. So, yeah. obviously, you know that. It's easier to burn fat. So. Right. I told him we'll, we'll up the calories a little bit, but nothing too extreme where I don't want I don't want too much fat because he's not doing as much cardio or being as active as I think he could possibly be right now. He's training, yes. And now I want to up his food up even more because he is training. So but yeah, I upped up a little bit. I and mean, my biggest thing was protein shakes with him. Okay. You know, and incorporating maybe one more in the day where he's getting a little bit more protein, he's getting a little bit more calories. I let him I let him eat, you know, kind of what he's want. Now he's eating X Factor meals. So I'm, I'm happy as hell right now. Yeah. Like I've tried every kind of meal company with him. And luckily, like this one fit. And listen, all of them have their goods and their bads, I guess. Right. And, and people might like this one or might like that one. I don't personally use them. But at that point, like, hey, I'll buy it for 300 bucks. Man, that saves me a ton of money from Uber Eats, from Sharice to order him crazy <laughs> food every night. Right, right. It, it lessens my garbage, so I'm not taking up three garbage cans every damn, every damn couple of days. And then, uh, you know, he's eating healthy, so at least I can control the calorie count, portion control. It's already there, and now we can really, really be precise in what we're doing. So, I'm happy about that for sure. I mean, like, I'm like, man, you like these? I'm like, order them, Sharice. Order them, and she likes them too. So, those are the two that you know. Me, I'm regimented. You know who I am. Those two. No way. So I'm so happy. I'm happy as hell that this is working for them. Just for anybody out there that's like a parent or, or you're trying to get your training partner to eat better and stuff like that. Johnny is in this world of health and fitness and his job, you know, really is is helping people optimize their health. And so uh, I just like the fact that you're also a father trying to do the very best you can. And and it's it's never perfect and it's never just easy mm. as could be. Um, so it's, it's great that you have somebody that's so focused on his sport, um, but you're helping him. And I know this and I, and I saw this and it was a good trick John did. I'll tell all of you guys, so use this and then give him credit for it is that when, uh, we, you were trying to take his calories up, you were like yep. every day when you do a shake, you make sure that he does that one shake with you a day. So yep. he gets in that 50 or 60 grams yep. of protein, um, you know, which is great. And yeah. then a couple meals during the day and he's golden. Yeah. So it's just a nice thing that you did it at that time. So for you guys out there, if you're trying to get your kids to eat more and do something, try to share that meal with them or a protein drink. I love protein drinks. Me too. It, it, it's so beneficial and easy. Um, for sure. Throw it in there. Mostly if you're off season and you want to get an extra calories in there. It's definitely good. I mean, man, and the protein count, you know, if you're even if you're even trying to cut, I mean, you could throw those protein drinks in there as meal replacement in some in some aspects, um, you know, but, you know, for him, like I want to do it at night for him because, you know, obviously your body's still functioning at night and obviously your body still needs protein. So at that point, like if, even before bed, like being him down a protein shake, which I did, you know, and that worked very well, too. So, you know, it's it's something whatever can work, you know, even I got a protein chip because. You know, he's eating Doritos and all this. I'm like, man, there's no way you're eating this no more. So go online, get some Quest chips, some some of these other pop chips that have a good, and they might be, you know, 300 milligrams of sodium per serving, which, uh, but you're getting protein and it's it's better yeah. than the alternative of what you're eating that has even more sodium than that and has no benefit for you whatsoever. So he, he switched to that too. So it's he, he's coming along. And yeah. I didn't even get this. I, I don't even know if you guys got to see Peter's hair. I showed oh, you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I oh, I did. I think it's oh, so nice. man. So, yeah, so that was a, that was a uh, like out of left field when he was like, he told me and his mom, he's like, Yeah, he's like, I want to shave my head. And I was like, I want to dye a platinum blonde. I'm like, What? I'm like, Your hair is long, like, we're growing it back out. Like, no, I was like, All right, cool. I was like, If you're down with it, hey, I'm good with that. 
And he told me the reason he wanted to do it was, was because he wanted to lock in. He wanted like all the girls not to look at him. He wanted just a, a fresh start. And I, I'm like, that's great. I'm like, but the reality is they're going to look at you even more now. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to stand out even more with this hair. Yeah. So uh, just be ready. And, and at that point, you'll be good to go. And he's like, yeah, I'm set. So you know, he's, 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 been, he's been treated like a fresh start. He's, you know, he's getting right back into baseball. He's raring to get on that field. So, you know, I think I think it's going to pump him up. So I, I was excited. I think every every kid should shave their head once in a while. And if you really want a fresh restart in your life or you're like, you know, I, I need to I need a, a fresh start. You know what they do in the military? And I went through military school and this is the first thing they do to you. First thing they do is shave your head. Yeah. The whole point is, is to break you down so they can build you back up. So if you want a fresh start, shave your damn head. Be free. And at that point, grow it out and then and, and work on yourself as you do it. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, you know, as we get older. I wouldn't I wouldn't advise that because you might not go back <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> I love it, man. Johnny, thank you so much for hanging today, brother. Of course, man, of course. Always a great time with you guys. I appreciate it. Titan Mona, you too. World. Where's Peter? Peter's got the, the shaved head now. I did see the uh the day it happened because if you viewers, yeah. uh, his son is this uh good looking cat, but he had this uh long dark hair and then he just buzzed it and put a little uh billy idol action onto the you know yeah yeah and he's such a little <laughs> guy you know yeah. so it's like now it's all face he, he's like those girls are gonna be calling even more yeah oh yeah for sure and wait till we get back from turkey's gonna be tan and he's already tan he's got olive skin already but he's gonna be even more tanner and then it's just gonna be like light on top it's gonna be hilarious i love it brother have a great trip and, and keep sending us Thanks, big guys there for sure. I definitely will, man. I'll be in touch with you. I'll talk to you later on today. And I hope Panda's all right. That was one thing I wanted to say. Yeah, well, we, we, we get her later tonight. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, brother. All right. Of course. You guys have a good rest of your day. Bye, buddy. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Come here. Oh, thanks, kiddo. That's so sweet. Music so sweet.